the Amazon Halo View Band. Wanted to go ahead and do a follow-up video on this one, kind of a long-term review, because we're getting early Prime Day savings on this stuff. You're looking $45. Link will be in the description, down from its usual $79.99, as some of these Prime Day savings have set in a touch early. And nice to see Amazon taking that savings, their usual kind of 50%-ish savings to their in-house electronics to the Halo View band because when a bunch of people were comparing it to the Fitbit Charge 4 and Charge 5 at $79.99 you could kind of get some of the comparisons there and some of the cons that people had about this device were perfectly valid but now where we're talking $45 that's almost a third of the price of the Charge 5 there is a lot to like here for that price and I want to go over the pros and I also want to go over some of the complaints that I've seen online and my opinion on them on this particular device of whether you should pick one up. I get the short answer is yes, for $45. If you're looking for a fitness tracker, you should absolutely pick one up and I'll tell you why that is. Number one is the display. This is the best display on any of these trackers. It's absolutely bright, it's sharp, it's detailed. There's a lot to like here. It's nice it, and the great thing about it, if you've been a Charge fan, a Charge 4 and Charge 5, even though the Charge 5 display is significantly improved the responsiveness is really bad on those displays this is a little tough to do behind the camera but you can see go ahead and try to do this on your charge five go ahead see if you get all those swipes in a row and manage to do so accurately on your charge five it'll drive you nuts and the little capacitive button here to kind of go back and forth and whatever is really a help. So if you're somebody who's outdoors all the time, this is, and this is on the medium setting, it's absolutely bright enough to be useful and readable outside. You can always turn it up if you need to, but an absolutely fantastic display, which in and of itself, you put the Amazon ecosystem in back of it and you're looking at something that's absolutely worth $45. Well, let's go over some of the complaints. One of them has been accuracy. And I can tell you, I haven't noticed a whole heck of a lot of issues with accuracy. I think when I'm comparing it to the Apple Watch, when I'm comparing it to the Fitbit, the heart rate stuff is dead on. I, a couple beats per minute one way or the other, but you're going to get that across all of them. I get that with the Amaze Fit devices. I get that with the Garmin devices. There's always going to be a little leeway one or two the other way. People say that steps are way off. I, I don't know what way off means. I, I haven't seen them be way off on this device, but each of these devices each company determines the steps and the distances differently. So you're going to have to take that into account. If you're somebody that needs to be, if you're if you're a super fitness person and, and you need to have your steps down to the whatever, or you get some sort of award, I don't know what you need that for. You're, you're planning out some sort of secret mission and you have to know exactly how many steps then, then this perhaps isn't the device for you. You should spend a few dollars more and get a Garmin or a Fitbit. But if you're somebody who takes fitness like I do, like, you know, fitness pizza in my mouth, you know, you get the idea then this is an excellent start for you. And we're going to talk more about that when we talk about the app itself. A lot of the people had issues with Bluetooth connection, which I certainly did not. I had no problems. In fact, this is one of the stronger Bluetooth connection devices that I've seen. Leave the room, come back in the room. Device recognizes it just fine. I've had zero issue with keeping Bluetooth connectivity on this device. So I don't think that's something that I've experienced. Perhaps they had a bad unit. Not really an issue. And notifications. It did. Te it does text notifications really well. The display is nice. You get color on them. It's fantastic, and it's enough to see what's going on. You can actually read the message on this display. It looks a little small, like all of them do, but it, it's perfectly legible. And because of the resolution of the display, it's nice to read messages on. And the one thing that I like is they've gone ahead and added. We'll go ahead and get into the app now, so you could see that. They've added phone calls because that was something that early on, it was really bizarre. You could get text messages, but you couldn't get phone calls. If you already own a Halo View, go ahead into the app and make sure you check that because by default, it's not on. So, and you're going to want that because that adds a lot of functionality. Once you get calls and text on this device, ooh, one moment. Now we're back. Excuse me on that one. A little, little frog in the throat, getting like our cat that's sneezing all the time. We got to, but you, you're going to want to turn that on because it really turns the functionality around. You'd be surprised how much just having phone calls on really does for the functionality of the device. Battery, it says they're going to last seven days. Yeah, medium brightness. 
with the, the, the kind of dark mode at night and all the rest of it and notifications on and medium vibration, which the haptics are wonderful, by the way. The vibration is really strong just on medium. You're going to actually feel when you get those notifications on your wrist. But we're talking five days. They say seven. Realistically, I'd say five days. You're going to want to hook it up to the charger. But it, it charges up just as quickly as a lot of those other devices. So you're not going to have any issue there. O2 sensor works well. Just like all the other ones, it keeps it. We talked about the uh, the beats per minute and your heart rate and all the rest of it. That stuff is fine. You're not going to get in too in-depth in that. You're not going to get the EKG and the ECGs and all the other stuff that you get on some of the other devices like the Charge 5. But then again, we're coming back to that theme. Are you paying $129? No, you're paying $45. So there's a difference there. And you're going to notice a step down. But is it severe enough of a step down? Do you need more than just your exercises? Are you somebody who... You know, you're going to get a lot of functionality out of this just on the exercise route. And we'll go ahead and put this in. We'll get this to focus in on this part. But you can see all the exercises they have. Walk, run, cycle, fitness training, high intensity, interval, whatever that one is. Weights, yoga, rowing, swim, which you can swim with this. That means you could also shower with it as well. We'll not have an issue with that. It, it just provides enough. And if you're somebody who's good about tracking their exercises and making sure you start and stop them, on the, on the device itself, the tracker itself, you're going to get a lot of functionality out of it for sure. Sleep was pretty accurate, I got to say. Well, let's go ahead and go over to that. We'll look at last night's sleep. And I know for, for a fact that these are accurate because we had a little issue. Our, our cat's a little older. She wasn't feeling well. So I knew when this disturbance was. I knew when I went back to sleep. I knew when I woke her up to, to, to check on something that she was doing. So sleep, if you're somebody who's looking for a sleep tracker or something like that that gets the job done relatively inexpensively. You could go ahead and go into the app and export your data, which is certainly useful. If you're somebody who needs that, for, it is useful for doctors. Doctors do ask about some of this stuff. Hey, I'm low energy. Well, let's take a look at your sleep patterns. Let's take a look at your sleep cycles. And if you're somebody who's concerned about the data and the privacy, you could see in settings, they have all the abilities. There's the health data. You could download or delete it, but you could go through, choose whether you want the backup on the cloud, Choose whether you want to delete it, all the stuff, your voice stuff that it has on here. But you could also download it. Put in a request. It goes ahead. And I believe it emails you a file that you could then choose to share with your doctor. If you're looking at specific things, if you're looking at heart rate, if you're looking at blood oxygen, you're looking at your sleep, it'll do sleep temperature. So there are a lot of things to like here for $45. And like I said, if you're somebody who is just getting into fitness, the great thing about it is it has... The mind space. I know a friend of mine who used that had or headspace had a good success with that kind of the yoga meditation type stuff. It's got some stuff from Orange Therapy on uh, in there where you're, you're doing the heart rate and you're doing the high interval training and all the stuff like that. It's got basic stuff for health and eating, yoga for beginners, different meals, different ideas. Are you going to be able to use all of this stuff at once? No, of course not. But if you're looking for a couple of things to get you started, just feel a little bit better, get yourself on the right track, feel like you're accomplishing goals, at least fitness goals on a daily basis, lose a few pounds, you want to eat a little bit better, then there's some usefulness here. You're absolutely, for $45, going to get your money's worth. And the great part about it is the Amazon support, like they give to all of their devices. There's plenty of bands out there, plenty of cheap bands. You've got the Mi Band 5, you've got the different uh, Amaze Fit ones that are sort of similar, uh, Huawei device, bands, all the rest of it that they have. But the great thing about this is that you're paying now with that Amazon Prime Day deal roughly the same price at $45, but you're getting the Amazon support app and ecosystem behind it, which if, you, if you're going to choose one of those to trust and pick, I'm going to choose the Amazon one, especially you can delete some of your data. Do they charge? Yeah, you get a year free when you buy it, the app services to get the more complex stuff in the app. So it's going to cost you the 79 or the $45. Basically you buy it, you get a year and that's $3.99 a month after that. But Fitbit charges you for that as well. You know, I don't like when Fitbit does it. I don't like when Amazon does it, but that's just the way it is with some of these trackers, unless you're going Garmin. Overall, I've been impressed with it. I think that between the display, the relatively accurate sleep analysis, the battery life, which is pretty good given the brightness and the vibration, the fact that they added in the phone calls so you could see when you're getting calls on the tracker itself, which is quite nice. You, you can't go wrong at $45. So if you've been itching for one, you've been you've been hesitating on it, you didn't want to pull the trigger, I would absolutely I would replace this band. It's nice and soft and stuff, but there are plenty of those good ones like I have for the Charge 5 kind of these. It makes it easier to wear at night for sleep. Plenty to like here. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time.
Have that Steve-licious day.